I'm Chris Armbrist with Dakota Fiber Mill. And I'm Teresa Perleyberg with Bear Creek Felting. And together we're Shepherd Industries. Yes. And we're here to share our love of the fiber arts and to share the progress of our school. We're renovating a school to be a fiber arts retreat center. Uh, it's in Nome, North Dakota. And we're just in the beginning. Well, it doesn't feel like the beginning. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Beginning actual construction. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, of, the, of the repairs. That yeah, are the needed. hammers are flying finally, so. Yeah. Flying? Hammers don't fly, do they? They pong. No, okay. <laughs> when hammers fly. All right. Uh, so you need to stay tuned to the end. We're going to give away our prize. We'll take a drawing. Uh, from those that commented and asked questions on our last video, which was episode 11. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll answer those questions today, and then we'll draw from one of those names for the prize, which was a, mm -hmm. uh, the One Skein Wonder book. And a skein of alpaca yarn. Yep. From, da yep. from Dakota Fiber Pro. Yep. Couldn't for me. I made it. For my animals. <laughs> And mm -hmm. so I'll yeah, make sure you scroll if you're on an iPhone, go all the way down to the bottom to leave your comments and yeah. questions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to ask a question. You can just comment. Or yes. We like, we like questions though. Anything yeah. from any fiber arts related. Mm -hmm. um, Chris owns a fiber mill and I do needle felting, but we both love spinning and, mm -hmm. and weaving and knitting and knitting. Everything. Mm -hmm. So we'd be happy to answer your questions. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're, we like to share what we've been working on, products mm -hmm. we're coming up with. Uh, this week I've been working on, uh, so I have a needle felting academy online. It's called the Bear Creek Needle Felting Academy. And it has video courses. And you can sign up monthly or yearly. And you have access to the whole library of courses. And they're from beginner to advanced. And one of the first courses that I ever put together was a sheep course. And... Uh, that was before even the academy. It was a course all on its own. And it introduced you to needle felting, and it was easy beginner course. And it also introduces you to the different kinds of fibers. So I include, so you make each sheep, you make three sheep, and then you use different wool on each of them so you can try them out. And you start out with the easy sheep like this, and there's videos to show you. And so this week I went through all of those videos and redid them and updated them. Um, some things have changed and the video needed a little improvement. A little tweaky? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I went through that whole course and fixed it up so that it should be um, yeah, easier to follow along through and, and just did some updates. So you make this sheep and then you make this sheep and then you make the one with legs, uh, which is you know a little bit harder. But once you've done these two, this one will be a lot easier. So you can take that course in the academy and uh, make start your own flock. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the easiest and one of the most popular in the academy. So awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I've been making cat toys out of felt. And yarn and catnip. I wish we had a cat here. I know. We will have a cat here. Anyway. Um, yeah, so just little prototypes, I guess, and then we're going to um, try them out on our cats and see what. They need a little bit more catnip, we decided. Um, but they all have the yarn and they're all sewn. This one has little leather fringe on it. And this one we're going to make a little bit longer so that it can be like a they can kick it. Mm -hmm. They can hold it and they can hold it and kick it. Can't like, do that. So anyway, so these, and then we will sell these too. Mm -hmm. We'll have these available, so those yeah. will be fun. Hopefully and next time we'll have videos of cats playing. Yes, yes, exactly. To share with you. Yeah, because cats, I mean, I know all, all my cats, they gravitate towards any natural fiber, anything, whether it's a sweater or if I have just wool. Line them up. They like to bit. sleep on it and yeah. to dig themselves into it. And yeah, they just have a connection. They have lots so. of opportunities in our, in our, <laughs> in in our both of our houses. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep. So and this, then we were busy, busy here. Yeah, yeah. This week we worked at the school on mm -hmm. the Monday, Tuesday. 
Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday, Tuesday cause it was, yeah, Monday. Was, yeah. yeah, we worked at the mm-hmm. school. We cleaned up, uh, they're starting on the, the gym mm-hmm. and do we, fixing the, the roof and mm-hmm. we needed to clean up their stumps and branches and, yep. and a bunch of shingles that had fallen and so we cleaned up with the bobcat and just She's it away. She's an expert bobcat operator. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I was working the shovel. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. She got more team. of the physical yeah. <laughs> physical side. But yeah, it was Every fun. Day. It's fun to be here and mm-hmm. be able to work and get things done and see Absolutely. Them. We'll give you a little tour at the end of this of of, of what's gotten done. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yes. Should we do our questions? Mm-hmm. We decided to actually read the question because you know we haven't been Yeah, and that would probably help it make more sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. All right. And so first question was, will you be doing any felting for use in garments? I love the process going on in the background. <laughs> and thank you for that comment and, and question. And I have done some felting that I have um, given to one of my customers, Ellen, and she owns Fiber Curio and Sundries, and she has an Etsy store. Um, and she does beautiful uh, vests coats out of out of felt that she does either she hand felts it or she used some of my felt as felting blanks and then did some further felting on it and then embellished um embellished them after she sewed them and put them together and she does beautiful work we ourselves have not gotten into the garment and yet but in the future one never knows we can't keep up with the Production. Yeah, the production of what of what we're making now. So we need to um, we need to amp up the felt making mm-hmm. to um, which is our to hope so. when we get it when the gym yeah. is finished. We're gonna move equipment in there and then yet this we'll fall. Be, mm-hmm. Yeah, hopefully be able to make more felt. So yeah, yeah. hopefully then we would have some available for sale for you to yeah um, yeah and sew with yeah so. and you can make your own garments. Mm-hmm. That should be yeah. Neat. Absolutely. That is our plan. Yes. Right now we just can't make enough felt to keep up. So. Exactly. <laughs> yep. And here we have love the hammering. You go gals. <laughs> love that. All right. And then when you start doing classes, will you be videotaping them? I'm sure a lot of people who live in other states would love to be able to view them even at a cost. I know I would love to be able to learn from some of them. Also, do you ever sell just the snowman hats and scarves? That last question, stay tuned or tune in till next week. We'll have we'll have some info on that. But that's gotta wait till next week on that mm-hmm. snowman hat and scarves. Um, yeah, episode 13. Yes, and then on the on the videotaping end, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely we would mm-hmm. if but I am you know, we're gonna get teachers in from everywhere. And so we'd have to have their consent. Um, otherwise, that probably wouldn't work. Right. The classes that you yeah. or myself teach, you bet we will. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It'll depend on the teacher themselves. And if we can compensate them for that somehow, yeah. we'll have to work that out. Mm-hmm. See yeah. how that goes. Yeah, we're just getting into that kind of thinking. So, mm-hmm. so it's good. We like that question because it makes us think of yeah. what we're going to do. Absolutely. Yep. I would love to see a wet felting class for different kinds of vessels, bowls, baskets, etc. I tend to gravitate toward needle felting, but love all the beautiful art bats and know that they can be made into such great wet felted pieces, which they can, and it's super fun. Would you consider offering some of the classes live for those who can't make it to the school house? We could surely follow along to a live wet felting class for others and yes we would love to do that again yes. it just depends on the one teaching it if mm-hmm. they're okay with it um, yes. we would love to be able to do that for those that can't come mm-hmm. absolutely mm-hmm. yes yeah and here we have congratulations i received my pumpkin kit yesterday and i can hardly wait to start working on it Yay, Yay. that's awesome yes i have a question about the schoolhouse. I'm loving the look of the wood trim I'm seeing around the doors, chalkboards, and bulletin boards behind you. Reminds me of the little schoolhouse I first went to when I was a child. Do you plan on keeping the trim or is it not in good enough condition to keep? We definitely plan on keeping it. Oh yes, all of it. Yes. Yes. There might be some 
in areas that's probably rotten, but we'll... Yeah, we'll, we'll there's some, some areas in the school that are, are going to be just kind of private areas that we can wrap some woodwork off to, to, so that all the public areas are, are complete. And yeah, it, it's as good as it looks on it, it it's amazing. It's yeah, absolutely amazing. It just amazing. needs polished up, really. It does, it's yeah. really in good shape. Like yeah. all around the windows, everything is, mm -hmm. is stained. Yep, they're going to replace the windows, but they're going to do it in a way that all of the beautiful trim around the windows will remain so that's mm -hmm. exciting yeah and then they'll, they'll just um the wood floors are in wonderful shape as well they just need to be refinished mm -hmm. so we have yeah. a local guy that's going to do it for us mm -hmm. we're super excited to get them done yeah, yeah. and we kind of like the old things and everything mm -hmm. in it so we're not going to yes. be sanding them down or no. anything either because we no. kind of like the history yep the, the character better. yeah mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. yeah so good question mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Yep, yep, yep. We need to draw All right. for the One Skein Wonder Book and One Skein of Yarn. Um, so one through five? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. One. Sherry. Sherry. You won the book and the skein of yarn. yarn. So what you need to do is you can go to BearGreekFelty.com and contact me through the contact form there or gnomeschoolhouse.com and just send us your address and we will send you your, your prize. prize. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Great. And next week we're going to have, um, these should be online to, to buy. Yeah, this is our, um, well this particular one is the alpaca insole with uh, activated charcoal, cornstarch and baking soda felted in so it totally destroys foot odor. Or amazing men's size 13 that you just trim to fit in your shoe. And they're super comfortable. I always have them in my shoes. Um, and then we have these, and then we also have the insoles without the the ingredients in them. So put into them. So, so mm -hmm. next week will be a pair of these and a set of our coasters. Of our, yeah, felt coasters. Yeah. Which, if you check back a couple episodes, you'll see. Yes. Next. Yes. I'll share a picture of them yeah. there too. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. Ooh, that's what. So all you have to do there is ask us a question mm -hmm. in the comment section below this video, or just comment and uh, make sure you like our video mm -hmm. and uh, subscribe to our channel so that you can see more of our, our videos. So we yes. try to do one once a week. Yes. So yes. And now we're going to give you a little tour, tour of what's, what's been going, going on in the school. And the event center so that you can get a scope of, of what we're going to be moving into hopefully in a couple months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is our room where we do our YouTubes. This is our videos. Video. Central. <laughs> cleanest room we've cleaned it up get the um plans on the wall here mm -hmm. you can find we go through the plans in one of the episodes yeah, five or six i think yeah. <laughs> or maybe it's two or three here's what they've been working on in the school they've been shoring it up with temporary walls because we're going to replace the roof. We need to make sure that it's stable. We're going to go outside and show you what's happening out there. It's the entryway that's being shingles.